Hello everyone, I'm Phil with LearnWire, and today we're going to check out Zero Work on AppSumo. There's nothing like spending your day scouring LinkedIn, sending cold DMs, and bantering with strangers. Between copy-pasting data, filling out forms, and managing social media activity, you're trudging through grunt work every day. What if you could build code-free automations designed to tackle any menial workflow without getting flagged for bot activity? Introducing Zero Work. Automate typing, clicking, and copy-pasting using no-code bots and ChatGPT integration. Protect your accounts from getting banned by anti-bot and anti-spam detection tools. It's best for freelancers, marketing agencies, web design agencies. Integrations include API, Google Sheets, webhooks. A no-code AI tool that lets you scrape data from any website, as well as automate browser and social media activity. Scrape website data from sites like Google Maps, LinkedIn, and Amazon. Compare, calculate, and filter your new data using data manipulation features. Automatically send DMs like social media posts or submit forms. Schedule your automations to run daily, hourly, or every five minutes. Task bots powered by AI. Integrate AI into any step of your automation using the ChatGPT block. Automatically post AI-generated content like blog posts, comments, and replies. Plus, you'll get access to unlimited runtime, API calls, scheduling, and webhooks with this one tool. Prevent bot and spam detection. Run automations that simulate human behavior while boosting your trust score. Okay, you get a 60-day money-back guarantee. Try it out for two months to make sure it's right for you. Features include no code builder to create task bots, condition-based logic to set daily or weekly DMs or profile visits, unlimited local executions of your task bots, schedule task bots, run task bots, unlimited parallel run of multiple task bots, save or process data in data tables, manipulate data by removing words, splitting, extracting, and converting formats, send or receive data with configurable API calls to or from any other platform, native Google Sheets integration, native ChatGPT integration, enhance anti-bot detection, webhook triggers, send ready-to-use taskbots to client accounts or create shareable links for everyone, write custom JavaScript for any custom logic, scheduler executed by local agent, desktop agent can be installed and used on an unlimited number of machines, desktop agent available in Mac, Windows, and Linux. Okay, I think we get the gist of what it can do. Let's take a look at its tiers here. All right, tier one, one-time purchase of $79. Gets all features listed above. 75 task bots, unlimited runs. For $189, license tier two, all features listed above. Unlimited task bots, unlimited runs. Okay, from the founders. Hey, hey, Sumulings. Diana here, and I'm the founder and CEO of Zero Work. Six months have passed since Zero Work had its launch on AppSumo. Thousands of Sumolings have joined the Zero Work fam, and our application became the deal of the week. For the past four months, my team and I have worked super hard to prepare Black Friday special surprise for you. We just launched a completely overhauled new version of Zero Work. The new version would not have been possible without you. I took your ideas, suggestions, struggles reported in support and feedback as the guide for any decisions in making this new version. Thank you for being such an active community. And checking out ZeroWork.io to see uh, if it's an established company and how how they're doing Um, for the past year. They've gone up and up and up, and I would say it looks looks around 65,000 on average per day uh, hits to their website. So, doing quite well. Okay, so it looks like it's been around for some time. So, let's go ahead and see if the proof is in the pudding and take this bad boy out for a test run. This is the interface for Work Zero. And over here on the right, we have the building blocks, as they like to call them. And at top is Ask ChatGPT, Open Link, Click Web Element, 
check web element, save web element, save page URL, save from clipboard, select web drop down, hover web element, insert text or data, write JavaScript, keyboard action, switch or close tab, start condition, set condition, start repeat, after repeat, break repeat, send notification, upload file, save file, update data, format data, split text, remove duplicates, delete data, record date, and send HTTP request. Okay, so they have a lot of building block options. Okay, the interface is pretty clean, pretty straightforward. I like it, it seems very user friendly. So the first thing we're going to do is rename the title of our task bot. We're going to name it LearnWire Review Bot. Let's drag over our first building block open link. I'm personally going to choose Trulia.com because I've been searching for a ridiculously priced home in this ridiculous economy right now. And let's see how this goes. And now to test it out, you can click on the run button up here. A window will pop up in the bottom there, initiating the script. So I've got to hit it. You'll see it pop up here, comes up so we know it's working. And then it automatically disappears. Okay, next we're going to check out keyboard action, which is down here. Drag it over. All right. And keyboard action is probably the easiest way to automate any website. So before we do that, let's go ahead and see what we're going to be doing. So first we'll open up to Trulia. And now we're going to hit the tab button on our keyboard and count the amount of times it takes to get to the homes for sale link. Four times. And then we're going to hit enter. Go back to the task bot and enter in here into the keyboard. Press a key on your keyboard. Tab one, two, three four then enter okay so you want to open up trulia.com now let's hit the tab key and count the amount of times it takes to get to the homes for sale uh, the tab key is usually the navigation key that works the best to get to the web element in the website uh, that we want to execute four times for homes for sale then hit enter okay now we want to get to the search box so we'll count again, one, two, three. And here's where we want to enter in the location we're searching for. So we'll go back to the keyboard action. One, two, three, four, then enter. And then it was one, two, three to get to the search window. So we're going to save that. Actually got to add enter in here as well. And now we had four times the tab. Okay, then we hit save. You can arrange these building blocks so it gives you more room just by dragging and dropping them. Pretty user friendly. And you want to connect these by just drawing a little wire across to each little waypoint here, each little dot. That'll help it the flow of how it's going to go. Okay, now we want to insert text into the box that it's going to search for, which is down here, insert text or data. So we're just going to drag that, bring it up here and drop it. And I'm currently looking for, let's just say, Bucks County and draw another line there. Then we're going to go back to Trulia. This is where we left off before. And now we're going to have to count the amount of times we hit tab in order to get over to the any price here and change the criteria to something reasonable other than a billion dollars. So let's go ahead and hit the tab button and count them. 1, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 times and then we hit enter. Hit enter again. Now use the down arrow to get the selected price. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hit enter. Down arrow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Enter. 
And there we have a reasonable criteria in this crazy economy. So let's go back to the task bot and enter all these keystrokes. Let's go over to our building blocks. Select keyboard action. Enter our keystrokes in. All the keystrokes are entered in now. 33 tabs. One enter, tab, enter. Down 12 times, enter, tab, enter. 16 down, enter. And you want to give a little bit of delay time so it has time to input it on the website. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. And there we have it here. All right, for the next one, we're going to automate an email. So let's go ahead and delete all that. And once again, take open link here on the right. Pull it over. Enter in gmail.com. Go to keyboard action down below. Drag it up top here. Let's go to our email up here. And let's see how many times it takes to tab over to the compose element. 12 times. And then press enter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Enter. Organize it up here. Draw a connecting line. Now let's have it insert text. Pull our building block insert text up. Here we're going to enter the email. Have it send an email to SobcheckWalter007, which is a reference to the Big Lebowski. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And hit save. Let's neaten it up and draw a line. Okay, and let's get another keyboard action. Put it here. And this will be for tabbing down to the subject line. So one tab, save, neaten it up, draw a line across. And then we'll grab an insert text building block. Put it here. Test email save and then we'll grab another keyboard action put it here and then we'll do another tab to get into the body of the email put save let's neaten it up draw another line and then we'll insert another text building block okay and let's type something in neaten it up a little bit do another connecting line we're missing one right here and one more keyboard action to execute this send which will be tab and then enter hit save let's neaten it up connect the dots let's rearrange things to make things flow a little more properly let's check and make sure our inbox is empty so we get a real-time test on this. This is empty. So let's go back to TaskBot and execute this. Come up here and hit Run. All right. Going to watch it in real time. There it goes. Putting in the email address. Okay. Subject, test email. And over the line. All right. Perfect. Looks like it executed flawlessly. Let's check our inbox up here. Let's hit inbox. And there it is. Perfect. Okay. That's impressive. Flawlessly did it. And you can see down here the final run result. Your test bot ran successfully at 1.34.37 a.m. Working late tonight. All right. So zero work. It's a stable, quick automator with many options. It's easy to use interface, drag and drop style. Uh, check it out, see if it's right for you with the 60-day uh, money-back guarantee. It's a no-brainer. At $69, it might be a little steep in comparison to UXer here, which is at f which is selling for $49. So check it out and see if you like it. So I give it four out of five stars. The link to this software is below. Thank you for checking out this video review. I'm Phil with LearnWire. Until next time.